Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a BMW X3 guys and you need to disconnect power steering line. There are a few things you need to follow, otherwise you can cause damage to your power steering pump. Make sure it's stay until the end, we'll cover everything from start to finish. Before we continue guys, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing that free information to you guys and if you need to buy power steering pump fluid or any parts tools we'll share guys the links in the description of the video below just for your convenience now doesn't matter if you have a four or six cylinder engine guys gasoline diesel the procedure will be about the same and uh, we'll demonstrate right here on the radiator okay this is for the power steering pump right here uh, coming, uh, th those hoses are coming from the power steering pump and the power steering reservoir as well and come to the cooling radiator. Those are the hoses that we will disconnect and we will explain what needs to be done and something very important we will share as we go. In addition guys, this is our main channel how to repair guys. We have helped more than 69 million people so check it out guys, quite helpful information will be shared there as well. Now, once you remove the hoses, you will leak all your power steering pump, uh, all your power steering fluid out. And later, when you refill it, it's super important to bleed the power steering system the correct way. Otherwise, you can cause damage to your pump, and that can be catastrophic, guys, because you may end up buying a new pump. And even if you don't bleed the power steering pump, the second time you may uh, you may damage the new pump as well. Now, let me show you guys, okay, what we need to do. So right here okay you have these plastic rings those plastic rings are the ones that we'll be using okay to actually okay let's uh, come up a little bit like that that will be disconnecting now if you have grease dirt dust stuck in it what i recommend get that well before this spray it clean it really good make sure that it turns like that now if that is missing or broken we'll show you guys what else you can use so make sure you stand till the end now grab the holes and push it all the way in you can see you have a little bit of a play push it all the way in while you're keeping it in go ahead okay and compress that plastic piece inside evenly on each side and start pushing the holes out at the same time once you jump one lip you're ready to go you can see it disconnected just like that so now guys okay let's leave the camera up okay like that this is the hose you have a few metal plates that actually uh, release once you press that thing in uh, but if it's broken what you can use you can use one of those tools and we'll put the link in the description of the video below like this one is the size of the pipe usually okay this or the green one you go on top of the pipe okay and it's going to help push that hose out you may need to use the green one really depends on the size of the pipe and all that stuff but you guys get the idea not very complicated once you're ready to install it clean everything make sure you don't have dust and dirt install it, uh, your piece if it's loose for some reason make sure it's it's here because you will need it next time you need to remove the the line and push until you hear a click like that pull it a few times give it a try make sure it's not coming loose guys so this is it practically hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time